Bluebells of England. The bluebells are coming, oh, oh, oh. The bluebells are coming, oh. If you must sing, Percy, grumbled Douglas, can't you sing in tune? Anyway, our song's about count bells, and mine's about bluebells. Then it's daft. Bluebells are flowers. Flowers can't come, they grow. My song isn't daft. Percy was indignant. It is, then. I can't find a boot of bluebells. We've a song called The Bluebells of Scotland. But, said Percy triumphantly, the bluebells of England are different. They're engines, and one of them's coming with his controller. Didn't you listen, he went on severely, to the fat controller telling us about it? I was away. Oh dear, I couldn't understand it all. But engines on the other railway aren't safe now. Their controllers are cruel. They don't like engines any more. They put them on cold, damp sidings. And then... Percy nearly sobbed. They... They c c cut them up! You're right there, agreed Douglas. If I hadn't escaped, I'd been cut up too. It's all because of your diesels. They're all devils, he added fiercely. Fair play, Douglas, reminded Percy. Some are nice. Look at Rusty and Daisy. Maybe so, answered Douglas. I'd never trust one myself. But what I cannot understand is all your blivel about bluebells. The bluebells are kind people who want to save engines. They've made a place in England called the Bluebell Railway. Engines can escape there and be safe. Like me winning away here? Yes, Percy went on. Just like that. If they are old or ill, a fitter makes them well. They can have their own special colours, all the coal and water they need, and pull trains too. That's brawl healing, said Douglas with feeling. The fat controller says Stepney was the first engine to escape there, so he's asked him to visit us and bring his controller. But, objected Douglas, how about young diesels? Mightn't they catch him along the way? We thought so too, said Percy. But the fat controller says there's no danger of that. Stepney's a match for any diesel. Besides, his controller would take care of him. He's a brave engine for all that, said Douglas admiringly. Fancy fighting his way through all those diesels just to see us. Look! squeaked Percy. The station's crowded. Silly! How can I look, unless I'd be a corkscrew? Why have they all come? There's no train. But Percy was wrong. The signal dropped, and from far away an engine whistled. A gleam of yellow shone through the bridge girders. Here he comes, yelled Douglas. Poom, poom, peep, peep. The two engines whistled excitedly in welcome. Peep, peep, replied Stepney, as with passengers and people waving and cheering, he puffed proudly through the junction on the last stage of his long journey.